What's going on YouTube? Games with Kelvin here and on today's video I want to show you what it takes to get the perfect reroll in Sinnoh Alice the hottest title to finally drop It is here. Let's go cuz I'm excited. Let's do it Sinnoh Alice has finally dropped global we can finally have some fun Understand what these puppets have been saying for the longest and if you play it and if you're coming from the Japanese version There will be some differences one of the one of the major things is the reroll is so easy in this game. As you can see right here, all you gotta do is press a button and you're getting times 11. So you don't even have to worry about getting lucky and pulling an extra rare item. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump on into the rerolling. When you start the game, you register as far as your server and then you can start rerolling. So right here we can see I got two different color books. I got the bronze and I got the white gold. The white gold is gonna represent either S or SR tier weapons and again if you're coming from the Japanese version SR is the equivalent of SS if I saw this role people might be like is this a good role how do you determine if this is a good role or if you should keep on re-rolling here are the criteria that you need to look at when re-rolling to see if you want to continue or go ahead and try again try your luck again if you don't want it first of all let me put it like this it took me a long time to reroll to get what I was looking for. If you don't want to mess with that nonsense, then I would just say at the bare minimum, make sure you have at least two SR weapons. But let's be honest, you're not watching this video because you want to do the bare minimum. You at least want to do a little bit better than that. So above that level, if you have two SR weapons, are they similar weapons? They don't have to be duplicates, but are they similar? And for example, that would be uh, as you can see right here, I have an S level sword and then I have an A level sword. So even though they're not duplicates, they're in the same family, but preferably you would want those to be SR. So this pool wasn't a great example, but that's what I mean by similar weapons. They don't have to be exact duplicates, but are they similar? Again, that's still not good. And as you can see right here with the SR pool, Gretel pulled up who's the minstrel class. So with that being said, when you're pulling SR weapons, are any of them producing jobs? So you can have SR weapons and you can have SR weapons at a job. You can also have S weapons at a job, but again, we're trying to do the best that we can. So we're looking at SR only. So the step above having two SR weapons that are similar, you want two or more SR weapons and at least one of them being a job. And for anyone who wants to know, when it comes down to the classes, you have two basics as far as how to look at it. You have your DPS classes, which contains four at the moment, and then you have four classes that represent the support rule. So when it comes to these classes, as you can see I pulled another Gretel, when it comes to these classes, they can only use weapons within that particular branch. That does not mean other characters cannot use those job classes. So I want you to make sure you know that. So thinking, okay, just because if I was to go with that and I had Gretel, I can only use Gretel. That's not the case at all. But again, there is another level to this. So what's better than pulling two or more SR weapons with one of those classes being a job, well, I'm pretty sure you already guessed it. Pulling two or more SR weapons with two or more jobs. It can happen, and I did have this experience sometimes, but of course, I was trying to be a perfectionist, and I didn't get the exact pulls that I wanted, so I kept on rerolling. But yes, you can get more than one job. If it was me personally, my advice to you would be, if you pull two or more SR weapons and you pull two or more jobs, the question you need to ask yourself is, do I like these jobs and do I have two or more similar items? And that brings me to the last and my fifth criteria. At the end of the day, make sure that you're trying to pull the Y food that you want. I know for me, I'm going hard in the paint for Cinderella. So that's who I'm looking to get. So a perfect role for me would be I'm pulling at the bare minimum I'm pulling Cinderella for my job so that means she's gonna be a breaker 
because that's what's available in this beginner gotcha and then i'm pulling at least two or three sr swords since that's affiliated with the breaker class swords that will work with cinderella so for me that is my perfect role and then icing on the cake is if i pull another job on top of that all right we're back at it i'm gonna go ahead and show you what i decided to settle with for my perfect role and right here you can already see based on what i've been telling y'all i got the job i want got cinderella that's the girl i want in my life and then for the extra sr weapon i actually I pulled two additional ones and one of them happens to be the same class as what cinderella is using which is a sword so that's already a win-win now could i keep on re-rolling to get another job i could but trust me i've been at this for a long time i'm tired and I'm ready to just finally call it a good game and this, I'm ready to jump in and start the action. Plus, I already know there's going to be gotchas within the game. So whatever I didn't pull, I can try my luck with the gotcha system. But for me, this is a perfect role for me. I got the job I wanted or the character I guess you could say. I got multiple SRs. So therefore for me, it's a win-win outside of losing some sleep. Hey. I'm pretty happy and here you can see I'm gonna go ahead and ink in the name and then once I finish filling out that contract my game account is now binded and if you have pre-registration which we all should be getting you'll get that once you get into the game and from there you just go on and start enjoying I actually like this reroll process a lot better than Japanese because I know with the Japanese version if you were working on the iOS, you had to delete the app. So this is very helpful. I'm very glad that they did that. They were thinking ahead on this because they already know lots of hours used. Now all we're waiting on is for the game to finish downloading. And then I can finally begin enjoying this global experience. So if you'd like to see more videos just like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as we're going to be covering a lot of Sinnoh Islands on this channel. And I'm excited. And I hope y'all are too. Good luck with your reroll. Hopefully you don't stay up as late as I did. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.